gentlemen, we can rebuild him. We have the technology. We have the capability to make the world's first bionic man. Better than he was before. Better. Stronger. Faster. What's up guys, Fishbricks85 here and today we're going to be taking a look at my custom Jurassic Park Evil Raiders Scrap Davis and this is him right here. I've been promising and teasing this video for a while so I finally just kind of wanted to show this guy and this is the uh, custom painted Dimetrodon that I did. Um, I'm only somewhat happy with this paint job. Um, I think the colors came out pretty cool. Not real pleased with the way the cell came out. Um, but I'm really happy with the way my Scrap Davis came out. Um, as just a quick run through for this. The legs are from a Legacy Collection Muldoon. The chest is from a Legacy Collection Alan Grant. The vest is from a G.I. Joe Desert Zartan. Um, I added the knife from Marauders. The leg brace is from Final Faction, from the 99 Cent Store, and uh, the head is Marauders, and uh, the gun that he is holding, the crossbow, is from Lantern Toys, uh, Core's Elite. Um, so for the most part, I'm pretty happy with this. Now, he's not a spot on of the unreleased um, version. I didn't do the head with the glasses and the hat like most people do. Uh, I wanted something a, a little different, a little more modern. So that's the cool thing about customizing. You can always just add the rule of cool and do whatever you think looks cool. And this is what I think looks cool. So for the most part, I'm really happy with the way this guy came out. Um, yeah, no complaints here. Pretty happy with this guy. I probably am going to do another version of this guy. Just because I see a way that I can make him even better. Um, but I'm really happy with this version. Just the same. And really glad to add him to my collection. I'm going to show you guys from the side. And boom. The back. Overall, just a pretty cool looking figure. Um, pretty happy with this Scrap Davis. And then this is the uh, Battle Damage Repainted Pet Dimetrodon. Um, supposed to be kind of like the little hatchling that he was supposed to come with. I did do this following Ted Brothers tutorial. So he also kind of gives a rundown on how to do this. Um, if you guys want to go check out that video, I will make sure to add the link in my description down below. And, um, as always guys, Fishbricks85, let me know what you think of this custom. Is this something you guys want to try? Um, you know, I really think the Evil Raiders are super cool. So to, to be able to have this figure is pretty awesome. And to be able to make it yourself, it, it's just really fun to do. And I totally recommend trying it. So if customizing is something you're into, um, I would totally recommend trying this and adding it to your collection. Um, I don't want to show it necessarily, but the Marauder knife down there on his ankle actually does come out. And he can actually hold it in his hand. So that's also pretty cool. So anyway, guys, as always, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked the video, please do me a favor and hit that thumbs up. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I always look forward to hearing from you guys. And as always, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.